Hi, my name is Dr. Daniel Harry. I'm the Chief of Surgical Oncology at Harbor UCLA Medical Center. The case you're going to see today is a 51-year-old female who presented to her primary care physician with a mass in her thyroid. Workup of this mass revealed bilateral thyroid nodules. There was a 1.3 centimeter predominant nodule in the right middle lobe that was concerning for malignancy. A fine needle aspirate of this revealed a papillary thyroid cancer. Further staging of this with a bilateral neck ultrasound revealed no lymphadenopathy. Given the bilateral nodules with some concerning features but sub-centimeter size, it was felt that she warranted a total thyroidectomy uh, for curative resection. Today we're going to be doing a total thyroidectomy. Before we begin, we just want to review the patient positioning and some of the instruments we use. So the patient is placed on the table in the supine position. Following intubation, we'll use an EMG uh, endotracheal tube for laryngeal nerve monitoring. So anesthesia needs to be notified of that prior to the case so they have the right equipment. Once the patient's intubated, we place an axillary roll, we tuck both arms, then we have the back of the patient slightly elevated. Um, other equipment we have, you need the nerve monitor probe as well as uh, cautery. And then we use a uh, handheld sonicision device. Uh, other options are a handheld harmonic or handheld ligature, or you could just suture ligate everything. But I enjoy this because it is uh, cordless and much faster. Okay, we're going to go over some important landmarks to see how we go about making this incision. This patient has a short neck, a um, little excess adipose tissue. Uh, we're going to get the sternal notch here and the, find the midline, which when you have a little thick neck, it is uh, a little more challenging to feel, but the trachea here is midline. So you want to be sure that if there's any deviation from the mass, you account for that with your, your midline of your incision. We're a little off there. And then we want to start with, this patient has a, a small lesion in the right lobe and a normal sized thyroid. So we're going to get, begin with about a little over a four centimeter incision uh, to start. You want to be two finger breasts above the sternal notch. Uh, she has a nice crease here, which we like to pick, but this is too far. So if we use that incision, we won't be able to get farther down the inferior poles of the thyroid. So we're going to have to split the difference between the, the sternal notch and that incision, which will be about here. And again, we're going to start with making...